number one Iron Age booty daddy. I'm not sure who that guy was, but it wasn't Dante. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably not a Devil May Cry fan. I've been one since I was a kid when I used to watch my older brother play the original demo for the first game. Yes, that does make me an old, but nevertheless, I saw that teaser trailer today, and unlike the rest of the internet, I guess I'm the only one with problems here. So, if you guys like what I have to say here, please like the video, which it's probably not because it seems the fanfare around this is a lot, but like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for me. I got a feeling this one's not gonna go over too well with the rest of the internet. But let's get into it. The Netflix announcement for Devil May Cry being worked on just came out today, and I saw it and I went, ooh, this looks interesting, and then they did the reveal. I don't know who that character was, but it didn't look like Dante. It's, there's one easy way to make a character look like Dante, and it's have the iconic hair present. In addition to that, as the trailer went on, you could see the animation quality was not what the 2007 short animated series was. I mean, just look at this here. I pulled screenshots from both today's, you know, announcement and from the 2007 trailer and the artwork, specifically in the shadowing and the details there is staggering. On top of that, a lot of people say, oh no, but did you know that the guy who's been at the helm of Devil May Cry, he's also here, so it's gonna get taken care of. Uh, okay, fine. Hideko, it's I can't say his name. Hi, D, I, I cannot say his name. I cannot pronounce it. I'm sorry. This guy. I'll put him up on screen. Did you guys happen to know that he also helmed DMC, which was essentially a travesty of an entry and had should not have had anything to do with Devil May Cry, period? And on top of that, at one point in time, it's kind of all over the internet, apparently he said that that game was his favorite game. So that also caused me to pause for a minute as well. Why on earth would you change the iconic look of Dante, which they did in Devil May Cry or DMC, and nobody liked it. They went so far as to poke fun at the fans of the original, calling the hairstyle stupid. And yet now we see again, they've changed the iconic hairstyle. And then on top of that, the voice actor it sounds like uh, it sounds like his boys need to drop a little bit so he can get uh, get a little, couple lower octaves. That does not sound like the iconic Dante that most certainly I grew up with. So I don't know about you guys, but based off of what I saw today, I really man. If I'm wrong, I'll eat crow on this one. But this looks bad. This looks like Devil May Cry for a modern audience. And you guys have heard for many, many years for a modern audience, and you know exactly what happens to your favorite franchise. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think of the new Netflix announcement for Devil May Cry, which featured some dude with white hair. I don't quite know who that was, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, as always, until next time, Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.